Hi, my name is Rhonda Smith, the proud principal of the A-rated Pomosa School of the Arts here in Delray Beach. Last year we had immense success here at Pomosa School of the Arts. We were able to jump two letter grades from a C to an A. And that was a huge feat. And so this year, my team and I, we sat at this table and we talked about all the different areas that we could demonstrate growth for this upcoming school year. From day one, my teachers already knew that we were gonna hit the ground running along with my students. But we were able to communicate this information, not just to them, but also to the families. It's important for them to see that while we've had this success, that there's still so much more that we can accomplish as a school. And so this year we're trying to make sure that every student gets exactly what they need. And by doing so, that means that inside of a literacy classroom right now, you would see things like small group instruction. You would see things like differentiated instruction, which is a big push for us this year because we went from being what we deemed ourselves to be as a learning gain school, where we showed a lot of growth, to being a proficiency school. What is your philosophy going into each school year? Our theme for the district is to educate, affirm, and inspire students. And I feel like if there was any, or if there were any three words that I could describe my mission and my vision for our school, it is to do just that. We come in knowing that our students need us to be able to educate them and foster a love of learning and cultivate their talents while doing so. I also believe that we have a job of affirming our students and giving them the confidence to want to continue on with their studies and be the best that they can be in them. And then of course, to be able to inspire them. I feel that it's important for the students to kind of see themselves on campus. And I, when I say see themselves, seeing themselves as far as people that look like them, people that come from the same types of backgrounds as them, doing the work that we are telling them that they could do too. A lot of teacher support is provided on this campus. And I think that's probably one of the things that made this A come into fruition for us is because we provide our teachers with a plethora of resources, but we also train them, we model for them, we sit down and we break down benchmarks, we talk about what it should look like in the classroom. And as an, as an administrator, I'm very particular about making sure that I'm in my classrooms. I want to inspect what I expect. I want to see it in real life so that when we're sitting down at the table, I can really give feedback to my teachers on what's working and what's not working and what's showing up in the data and where did we miss some points, right? But here on my campus, I'm really about making sure that I have personnel on my campus that can really provide that support. I do believe that despite the resources, the, adapt, uh, the adaptive technology that can be used inside of a classroom, nothing compares to a teacher. I can't replace the teacher. You know, all those other tools are secondary. The teacher is the one that's going to make a difference inside that classroom. And for me, pouring all of our efforts and all of our resources into them is what will allow us to be able to maintain this A. But what are the things that maybe you can't see just if you look it up on the website? My students, they love this school. They love the people in the building, which really allows for us to help our students you know, set aside some of the challenges that they may face. It helps us to overcome a lot of barriers that come with, you know, being in a Title I setting. And this year when we got back on campus, I wanted them to come in and to feel that success because they're the reason why we are an A-rated school. And I wanted them to hold on to that because they need to know that feeling so that they can work for it again. Our students showed up and they showed us that they're capable of doing anything that we ask them to do. All we have to do is have high expectations of them and they will meet and or exceed them. And our school did that. Our students did just that. You spoke about getting the community involved. Mm -hmm. And how does getting the community involved and kind of building the culture around community and school and future, how do you implement that? Community is absolutely important and vital for any school's success. The community pours into the school by making sure that, you know, the community is well versed in the schools that are being offered, you know. The community does that by helping to fund certain initiatives on school campuses. Very fortunate to partner with the city of Delray, you know, because they do love on their schools and they do make it a point to make sure that everyone knows the success stories that are coming out of our schools. It really takes a village. It takes a village to be able to support a school and that's what the community does for us.